Hello, my name is João Cotrim and I am the president of the National Tourist Office of Portugal. Well, good morning and thank you for talking good to Gregory Travelista. We're here on the first day of World Travel Market uh, 2015. How's the show going for you this year? Well, I just started two, two hours ago and uh, I've been in back-to-back um, -back meetings, so I can't really tell you how, how it's going from a commercial point of view. From a setup point of view, we're very happy. I think we have a very good area here. The surface of the stand looks uh, great. Very open stand, as you can see. Trying to re reflect the openness of the Portuguese uh, uh, tourist market as a destination. And how would you describe that market uh, in late 2015? Uh, buoyant? You confident? Yes, we are confident of what we've seen. As you know, Portugal has been through a um, difficult period economically. And tourism has been the activity which has, in some way, um, pulled the country out of the recession and into uh, albeit modest but growth um, in this year. So we uh, represent more or less 15% of our GDP and we've grow, we grew in terms of overall revenues over the last three years close to 30% accumulated growth. So the, the, the past looks uh, impressive, I, must, I, can, I can say that, and the future looks promising because our advanced indicators, not just for the um, winter 15-16 but also for the summer 16, uh, look very, very solid, very robust, and it's now up to us to turn those intentions, those, if you like, potential demand into actual uh, reservations and trips. Yeah, and we're here, we're here in London for the World Travel Market, as I mentioned. How are you promoting the destination uh, here today? I think we have a very interesting mix between trade marketing, very hard sell, and uh, purely online aspirational marketing. We don't do any offline uh, traditional marketing anymore. And we try to mix these two realities, that whatever we do needs to or should in, 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 uh, result in a reservation, a booking. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, we need people to feel that Portugal is a place that they're attracted to and they wish to come to us. So we do this, try to balance these two components of marketing um, as, as best we can. And we do it uh, obeying our main message. Our main message is, our, our marketing positioning is, Portugal is the country in which anybody can feel at home irrespective of where they come from and what type of person they are. And this openness and this um, willingness to make people feel welcome and feel at home has been highlighted but by survey after survey after survey of those visiting the country. So it is true because people tell us it's true, it is powerful because it's a good idea and it is something which we have been able to convey not in our own first person voice but through the voice of the tourists that visit us and whose opinion we share in social networks and uh, throughout the online world. How accurate do you think um, guests' uh, perceptions of Portugal are? It's very famous for its beaches, for its golf. Is there more that uh, people are perhaps unaware of? You know, destinations, countries in general are uh, funny animals to, to manage in marketing terms because their image is made of millions and millions and millions of uh, different opinions, different uh, uh, data points over many, many decades, centuries sometimes. So whatever we think about a country is made of of a kaleidoscope of different types of opinions. So when somebody in a national tourist organization like mine needs to manage the image of a country as a touristic destination, he cannot, he's not in a vacuum, he's building on the overall image of the country. And of course, any image of any country is bound to be um, untrue or unfocused in one respect or the other. Which are the ones, the aspects of Portugal, which I think are more unfocused, less correct as we speak? I think, for instance, the fact that it, it is a backward country. It is not a backward country, it's a country which has made a lot of strides economically, it has made a lot of strides technologically, but it still respects its tradition, he is not ashamed to behave and live in, uh, in ways which are reminiscent from what our forefathers did. That's totally different from being backward. We are looking towards the future, but respecting our past. And I think that also makes us very attractive for somebody wishing to visit. Uh, and this is why we don't promote Portugal as a traditional country. We don't promote Portugal as a modern country. We, we promote it, a country where people are spontaneous and authentic. And I think that's very attractive for somebody wishing to visit. Yeah, you've obviously been very successful in that task, recognized at the World Travel Awards. How did it feel to take a title there? Well, uh, it's normal to say that we don't work to get the words, but the words for, for, for us are, are important in, in two very, very significant respects. One is that external recognition of something we are doing and that no matter how confident you are that you are doing the right thing, having somebody from the outside recognizing the work is always good. And secondly, because we are a public institution and public institutions in general and in Portugal in, in the recent years in particular have had very few human resources, tools at their disposal to manage people's motivation, to get people's energy flowing. You know what I'm talking about, how difficult it is 
to promote people and to pay people proper wages in, 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 in public jobs. And the fact that this prizes, this recognition from the outside allows us to do a bit of a party, if you like. What we did when we received this prize, we didn't say anybody, we didn't uh, um, t tell this to anybody, but on the morning after the, the weekend in which we were awarded, we had a red carpet on the entrance of the office and every single employee of Turism Portugal had to go through this red carpet, face the flashes, face the interviews, uh, receive a replica of the award and post for pictures with me and for, with other members of the board of Turism Portugal because they were the true heroes they won those Oscars they won the Global Devil Awards and it's up the it's their award so it's only fair that they should receive it congratulations on that title and thank, thank you very, very much, much for, for your interest in uh, Campo Portugal don't forget <laughs> thank you very much thank you thank you